Yeah. Um, but uh, still speaking about South Africa, it'd be like, say, we get the call, we don't put a call across to a, a representative, Oluwashi, all the way in South Africa, Pretoria, Pretoria not to be precise. Hello, good morning, Oluwashi. Hello, good morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you today? I'm okay, I'm okay. All right, um, if you tell us the current situation in terms of these um, attacks, we would only hear where a lot of foreigners um, don't become victims on top. I'm telling you, as I'm talking to you now, I'm in a hidden place. I'm telling you we need God intervention. We need the great, great, great African leaders to intervene in this situation. This is a brutality. Mm. Okay, they are just killing our brothers for nothing. So how safe is it for where you did as we speak? This place where I did now, nothing ever really happened for where I did. But for my neighborhood, nearby, mm -hmm. Victoria West, yes. the sunny side, uh, CDB, uh, Johannesburg, mm -hmm. and uh, Captain Pack, okay. they don't kill our brothers like goat. They don't kill us like goat. We are naughty to these people. So what are the police officers for inside those regions, for those communities or provinces? What some of they their do? police officers, some of their police officers are kind enough to rescue some of our guys. But some are still supporting, supporting these, uh, their people. You need to don't talk to this language barrier. Mm. And then uh, and, uh, races, some kind of races among the police officers too. Okay, uh, I don't want to mention names. Okay. And I don't want to, I don't like to expose myself so much like that. Okay, so from, but I just want the, I want the great Africa, the great African leaders to intervene in these issues. Okay, so from what we'll be here about the way the thing starts, we yes and now because of a taxi driver where allegedly um, a drug dealer be actually killed. But we don't know, we don't know whether that story is not confirmation. To, according, to, according to what they didn't tell us, where we hear from the start, it okay. was a Tanzania guy. That was arguing with the South African taxi driver. Okay. So that one comes shoot up. That guy shoot up. So according to what me a year old, say say the other uh, Tanzania brother now to enter shop, now say go carry gun come. He shoot the guy too. Okay. You understand? Okay. All of a sudden the fellow taxi drivers, they don't start to enter their shop, they throw fire, they loot their shop. They carry their properties, you know, just chance. Well, if you like say that. that Tanzanian man will actually commit this crime or this badness, why it can't be like saying that every other foreigner My will be for that area? Apple for this country is Nigerian. Because Nigerians, you know, we are like a, we are like a big people. Anything that, anything that happens here is Nigerians. I don't know all the jealousy and the heaviness they have on Nigerians. South Africans are supposed to be either very close people to Nigerians, to me. And some issues in musical aspect, as I am a musician, that we have a good rapport with the South African musicians. Do you understand me? Yeah, so for the but, other communities uh, where you don't call now, um, you feel, say, people feel they safe to move around or people still they live in fear? I will not advise anybody to move around. As that now? As that now? Until our government intervene in this issue, I will tell you, I am speaking from the bottom of my heart. What we have seen so far, I All don't right. think you can withstand the DCIA in this country. Mm. Okay, now we don't hear say even as South Africans be the attack foreigners and Nigerians um, because of everything what they happen. Would they hear say Nigerians too? They try also attack back in defence um, just to protect their own selves and their lives and their own property and their businesses. Yeah, How true this one day? Nigerians too have been trying, according to what we have been seeing on social media and some other places. Now, but there's no go, we don't have a go ahead, and we need somebody to stand for Nigeria, for Nigerians here in South Africa in Mozambique. You see, if somebody can start, we need a voice, or we need a representative that will talk to these people. These people are treating us. These people are animals. I can tell you, you know, these people, you know, they get, they, they treat people like like shit. All right, so Mr. Like Shea, if, if the government um, give opportunity to any, every Nigerian where they for inside that region to come back to Nigeria, you feel say that, that solution will work for people and people will actually want to come back to Nigeria? Yeah, it's going to actually work for some people, but people that have been here for a long time, that their, their investments are here, their families and uh, 
uh, uh, properties, lots of property companies. Yeah, what do you expect? Them? What do you want them to do? Do you want them to come back to Nigeria and start begin afresh? Mm, but when would the they point. talk about? We're talking about lives here and the safety of life. I mean, if person know their life, all the properties and all the wealth where the person don't gather now, just on top of water or on top of baskets, now all of that one good day. Yeah, they still say this issue can be properly ironed out by the government. And they just need to set up a board meeting and then these people sit down and there. There's no one who to call. There's a president in Nigeria, there's a president here. We have Ramaphosa here, we have our president in Nigeria too. These people just need to sit down there and tell this real fact to each other that we, that Nigerians have support, that supported South Africa in the, in the past, and now this is the time they are supposed to pay us back. This is the time they are supposed to pay us back now. Now it's violent and they're like maltreating us like uh, we are nobody in Africa. We are the giants of Africa. All right. Now, Mr. Shei, um, you don't tell us the current situation of things where, for these neighboring communities or provinces where they for inside South Africa. Now, so far, so good. We're waiting on they happen and waiting what they see for social media. We don't know. We need to ask and confirm whether police officers they don't send more police troops or police officers or security forces to this region to bring down calmness and to bring uh, to reduce the, the beginning where they happen for inside there. How true this one be? As far, as far as I can see now, there are a lot of police uh, officers, you know, police cars you know, vehicles going up and down, you know. Well, so far, so good. Here in Pretoria, not peaceful. So far, so good. So All far, right. but our neighborhood, uh, Pretoria West and uh, CDB, what, uh, what's it called? Uh, Central, Central, Sunnyside. We still have a lot of threats. We have a threat of message. We have a threat of uh, on the social platform. A lot of threats still mm. coming through. All right, so wait till if you just uh, the very last question again, wait till if you tell any Nigerian, where still they get hopes or we still feel, say, South Africa are one of the places to actually come to, be it for business or for permanent residence? Okay, yeah. South Africa is a good place. South Africa people are very lovely. Okay, just in times of the, these people, of their, these, uh, their refract and their, their, their taxi drivers, and uh, they just need a uh, professional handle, like, you know, somebody that is well capable to talk to those people, to calm them down. You know, that South, Africa, South Africa is a lovely place to be. All Likewise, right. Nigeria is a nice place to be. You All understand? Right. I, but I wouldn't advise anybody coming to South Africa to come at this moment. And if you are coming to South Africa, you, you know that South Africa, there's no job here. All right. Okay, if you have a legitimate business you are bringing here, or some kind of idea you want to come and ship to the government, or uh, some kind of product you want to advertise for yourself, South Africa is the right place for you to be. All right. Um, so um, finally, the, the, the South African government not come outside issue any statement to assure the people for those regions of safety and normalcy um, in the shortest possible time to come back in those areas. They are doing the best they can do, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I can see the news. The president just said some things like that, like that this morning. So mm -hmm. I feel like me. I'm feeling that everything is coming to. Oh, to come to an end, like, uh, I am hoping, you understand? Yes. I am hoping that yeah, they will settle them very soon. When they settle them, make I amend them, make everybody day, we make we get free movement, we go, we go out, we go, we go work, you understand? Mm. Uh, sure, where they don't demand everything, where they don't, where they don't break, we go, we go, they build them back. Mm. You understand? If they use violence, it's violence. I know one day our government give us go out and the fight. We they just iron the issue, say, yes, well, please keep it, no, we fight for kids, say, please keep it. You understand? All right. Thank you so much, Shay. Thank you for all this information. We don't come and give. Um, they're very useful. And we hope, say, you they safe with your loved ones as well for Inside Pretoria, not for South Africa. Thank you so much. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.